It's time for another unboxing, and this time it is the HTC Advantage, the X7501. From my understanding, the X7500 was the Windows Mobile 5 version of it, and this is the Windows Mobile 6 it does have on it right out of the box. Supposedly, hopefully. <laughs> um, basically, spec-wise, other than the beefed-up memory in Windows Mobile 6, it is a Dell Axum X51 in a larger shell and it's got a radio in it so you can uh, it's got a quad band uh, UM, uh, UMTS quad band GSM and Bluetooth 2.0 but anyway this thing has 256 mega RAM 128 mega ROM it's a 5 inch VGA screen it's a beast so let's take a look at the packaging here which you know do you really care but I do and we'll jump right into it now let's see here Harness the power of the HTC Advantage X7501, the most ultimate mobile office. The cutting edge mobile device is a first for business functionality, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's do it. Uh, nice packaging so far. Looks like it was dropped in shipping there. Nice little bump on it. And we will see. There's the keyboard, which came right off of the box. Pretty sure that this is not the first time it's been taken out of the box. I'm not the first one to have gotten a look at this, I'm pretty sure. But I'm honored to take a look at it for HCC nonetheless. There it is. Let's get everything out and let's take a closer look. Looks like we've got stuff in here. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. Uh, nothing in there, but it looks like something should have been in there. Got another box inside of the box, and that basically completes that box. We've got something here. And it feels to be empty as well. And it is. Just filler. Y'all gonna be able to make a uh, be box makers when you grow up with all this unboxing you've seen here. All right, what do we have here? Got the 2200 milliamp hour battery, I guess. Yes. Nice little case for the HTC Advantage charger. Ooh, a nice thick manual, user manual, the most powerful mobile office. And that's about it. Let's get all this put away and we'll take a look okay, at it. Okay, I've got the boxes put away and in the process I did realize that I have a few things missing. I'm missing a headset and I'm missing the VGA adapter. The box says I was supposed to have those, but I don't. Anyway, I had no doubt this being a, a review model that things might be missing and the fact that the devices were not in their wrappers when I took it out of the box was my first indication it should have been yours too. But let me tell you a little bit more about the device. I compared it to the Dell Axum X51 to start. The reason for that comparison is the Intel graphics processor that drives the VGA screen inside. Uh, it's the same Intel graphics engine that the uh, Dell Axum X51V uses. So, um, just to clear that up, just in case anybody was concerned with that. So, uh, it's got a 624 megahertz CPU and it's got the ATI uh, graphic chipset, Windows Mobile 6 Professional, 256 meg of RAM, 128 meg of ROM. It's not that thick as you can see. It's got a 5 inch VGA screen. It is awesome. I've, I did get to play with this a few times, once back at CES and once at CTIA. And I've got a video, uh, kind of a little one minute video that I took at CTIA of the Advantage. So, like I said, it's come under so many names so far. The T-Mobile and Mio, the Athena. This has been a long, one of the longest launches of a phone I've ever seen. And it was really amazing that HTC is selling it here unbranded, or branded under the HTC name at Amazon. So um, it also uses HTC ViewFlow, which is kind of a motion sensing technology for browsing and so forth. 
It's a quad band HSDPA, uh, what else? Bluetooth 2.0, Wi Fi, everything. VGA out, so you can put this on your monitor. Got a big 2200 milliamp hour battery. So, anyway, and it's a phone too. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine you putting this thing up to your head, but you could if you wanted to, I guess. Or maybe you couldn't, I don't know. There's a speakers here and you could use it as a speaker phone but anyway uh, I can imagine that their intention was for you to use it as a Bluetooth use a Bluetooth headset like you know, this little blue ant or whatever with it so anyway let's take a closer look here first thing is this keyboard this keyboard is amazing it's thin it serves as the protective cover which also gives you some indications right here when the units powered up and it's got your talk and hang up buttons and some other some other um, shortcut buttons full keyboard You've got the little blue thing to get your shift keys really neat but anyway this is really cool I showed this at the in the video that I took at CTIA watch this right here look at the power of this pulled it right up so I mean this thing's you can knock it down pretty easy but I mean it, it's pretty stable if I hold on to that I'm bouncing that so anyway all right, let's look here. Come out of there. <laughs> um, here's the battery. We're going to go ahead and put the battery in first so that I can see if we actually have a charge. This is your battery cover here. Got Hang on just a second. Hit this with my fingernail here. This should pop down. That's not a good finger. There we go. All right, in here we have a place for our SIM card. Looks like it goes right there. Our SD slot there, and the battery will fit right into here. Let's see how this goes? I probably oh, it's got a little guide on it, a little ridge on the side there. It kind of shows you which way, and it just pops in there, and we'll shut that. Okay, I'm forcing it. Shouldn't have to force it. Is that popped all the way in? Yes, it is. And this is a not a SD; it's a mini SD, but it goes right up under there. So let's see. Why isn't that not popping down correctly? There we go. All right. We probably have juice since this has been used before. And we'll see if it'll come on. A little tease there because uh, oh, that's not the on button. On button's right there. Got the E on there kind of had me confused. Maybe we don't have any juice. Okay, well I'll have to charge it up for you, but oh, there we go. We'll just go ahead and power it up and let you take a look at it, and I'll give a walkthrough after I have time to play with it and get to know it a little bit. This will be the first time that I've actually used it. I've actually, you know, played with it for short little, you know here this is coming kind of times you know so we got Windows Mobile sorry about all those fingerprints getting into that compartment took me a little effort all right I am going to turn this around because a phone number showed up on the screen there of possibly the last reviewer that took it so we're gonna take a look at that and see if we can okay, get that I've off. Okay, I've gone ahead and cleared uh, the information off of there that the uh, person that possessed this before had and I'll probably give him a call and let him know that uh, I'll take care of getting everything off there for him. So we'll start with the device. Um, on the bottom the uh, very first thing you see here is this copper connector there Basically, that mates up with the keyboard on the same pins right there. The other part of the bottom here is this door here that we were already in. We took and uh, put our battery into this compartment as well as your mini SD and your SIM card. And over here on the side, you've got your audio connector, your DC sync in, which is a kind of a special little mini USB connector there. And next to there is your VGA, a speaker port, and there's another speaker port on this side too. We'll see that in just a minute. And then you have your volume rocker right here. 
up and down. On the top there's nothing. On this side you have your camera button. I'm trying to get this where y'all can see real good. Let me get a stylus here so I can show you, point the things better. I could get my little Microsoft MVP laser pointer. There you go. Camera button there. Another speaker like I said there. This is the wireless manager. Most of these buttons have dual functions. You hold it down, it does one thing. You press it once or just a quick tap like pow, it does one thing. And that probably did something, no. But if you hold it down, it does something else. But that's the wireless manager and the recorder button. Your power button. Then we're going to get on the back. Uh, something different from this model than the 7500 over in Europe is, I believe it's right here, there's a uh, forward-facing camera on their models. So on the front here you have your alert LED, uh, Bluetooth wireless LED, and a GSM LED for your signaling. Uh, nice little pretty HTC logo. And this is a little joystick, a little navigator there. It's uh, kind of like your D-pad if you will. OK and Windows buttons as you'll have on your phone you know down there. Uh, on the back you have there's a flash and a three megapixel camera and on the bottom here if you look closely reset and these two ports here one of them I think is for the G an external GPS antenna and one of them is for a car port for um, you know an external antenna so that's the buttons and the gizmos here okay I've showed you a little bit about the physical layout of the device and whatnot we're gonna take some time to play with it and get to know it a little bit and then I'll give you a, a little uh, first look at it but I wanted to before I let you go here I wanted to let you see this device I'm gonna put this on so we don't scratch the screen I want you to see the HTC Advantage the X <coughs> excuse me 7501 size wise as compared to some other popular devices that you might have seen before some of them a little vintage some of them not and uh, tell you what I'm gonna put this face down <laughs> this is uh, the 2215 if you remember this this is the chrome side grips because they had a side grip fall off problem anyway that's not part of why we're here so we're just going to show you the size wise there you go thickness it's a pretty decent thickness difference there um, the other HP which I thought was too big for its own good back in the day it's a great device just like the X51 but the uh, HX4700 it's pretty darn close to the same size as the HTC Advantage and it's just about as thick and keep in mind there's about a quarter of an inch there or a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch that's the keyboard let's take that keyboard off and we'll put them back to back here look at the 4700 which is kind of weathered as you can see that's not much difference and I mean size wise it's almost as tall that's flush at the bottom the only difference is just a little bit thin you know on each end there so anyway let's keep going uh, this is fun getting to show devices and you already saw the uh, let's put this back on here that just snaps on the X50 ooh that's pulling it for some reason the metal on that thing is getting pulled by the bat the magnet and then the thickness there all right how about something that's not a phone? How about a big old Sony PSP, which is still kind of smaller. Thickness wise with the keyboard is about the same. So let's see. How about your favorite device that's come out recently? This uh, iPhone. <laughs> this is quite a bit smaller than iPhone. There. thickness there and no I didn't throw my iPhone away guys I keep getting emails I, I need to respond to some of them I, I've gotten behind on my YouTube email there about 67 in my box right now I somehow gave the impression when I did the sim, sim removal video that I was throwing away my iPhone that is not the case I didn't uh, pay 600 oh and by the way 
I'm not getting my rebate on a couple of them. This is what I'm using right now, the Trio 750 V, or 750. And uh, it's thicker. Definitely thicker, the Trio is. And then you got Motorola Q. Motorola Q was a nice thin device. Let's see here. But anyway, this has been an unboxing of the HTC Advantage and some video first looks at the software and so forth. Really nice. It's big, but you know, if this could replace your laptop, man.